Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, it's me again, the Killican, picking up right where we left off before. Uh, sorry about the abrupt end to the last video, but I kind of lost track of time and uh, <laughs> had to wrap it up real quick. But don't worry, I'll keep an eye on it for today, and uh, let's see if we can get through this. See, we seem to last uh, where we left off. He fell into this dark black abyss, and now uh, not only are we above ground here, but uh, judging by the trees and the birds and uh, not, I'd say we were back on Earth. <coughs> not strange at all. Whoa, what's this? Error. Good, it's air in signal. Why are you searching for me here? You know where I am. You left me behind years ago. You can't find me now. We're too far apart in distance and time. Alright, this is trippy. Yeah, I wonder if this is a dream sequence. Could be. Ah, I see where this is going, yeah. Dream sequence and flashback to his wife. Yeesh. Yeah, I was watching the movie Inception just last night, and I can see this happening in a dream. Where are you? I'm coming for you, honey. The sky is underground. That's disconcerting. Hold on, I'm coming! Alright, here goes nothing. The dream collapsed. Ah, check it out, he can breathe. Hmm. Alright, now we're picking up right where we left off. I guess he fell in here and fell asleep. Must be an underground oxygen pocket. And his tank was empty. It's, uh... Oh. Oh, this can't be good. Looks like blood. That's a lot of blood. I hope she's still alive. Yeah. Hold on, Alita. I'm coming. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, this, uh... must be the lair of the, uh, of the evil alien menace, as it were. And more basalt. And this has to at least be the hub of the alien plan thing. Hmm. 
Oh, there she is. Oh, crap. It's that big... That big, uh, humanoid plant-looking thing. She's like turning into a plant. And she, and she was turning that whole thing green. Oh, how about that? It's like spreading her greenness throughout the entire collective plant thing. Green land. Like she uncorrupted the evil, the evil plant thing. She saved my life. She saved the entire planet. Dang. So she sacrificed herself to stop the plants. As long as this means the uh, plants aren't going to actively try to kill me anymore. Oh, the planet is turning back the way it was when, uh, when NASA spotted it. All those years ago, it's all becoming green again. <coughs> it's weird, it's like, not well, ironic, it's like, arguably, it was humans that decimated the planet, and it was a human who saved it. Yeah, I mean, uh, generally I'm not too big of a fan of the Go Green movement, but, uh, in this case, I think I'll make an exception. Yeah, I, I don't think I, uh, I read it out loud, you guys, but in one of the last uh, uh, documents the astronaut found, it said basically that, you know, humanity came to the planet and, like, viruses and bacteria within the human body that, you know, we have always been immune to, or have been for thousands of years, it just 
poisoned and killed all the green life on this planet. Oh, another nod to popular sci-fi. That was what killed the aliens and saved humanity in uh, War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. But yeah, it's uh, like like we were, like I was discussing in the last video. Another nod to famous sci-fi. Yeah, it's like. All right. So the other portal does lead back to Earth, but hundreds of years in the future. Oh. Dang. Well, yeah, the, uh, like I said, I'm not gonna play that whole thing, but basically, uh, Earth's, uh, uh, this planet and Earth's rotation around the corresponding stars is out of alignment, which means... The, the one portal left that can get me back to Earth will send me back to Earth, you know, hundreds of years in the future. So... Oh, this'll be interesting. Oh. Dang, there's the Stargate. It's turning green. Okay. Looks like the whole thing might already be green by now. And oh! Oh dang, there's another one. Those alien plant humanoid-like things. Another one in the distance. Yes, they're they're all coming back to life now. Awesome. Yeah, the, this music is awesome. It just sounds so epic. Look out, future Earth. Here I come. I mean, be interesting to just jump to the future and see what it's like. doesn't remind us of Mass Effect at all, does it? I mean, the buildings and whatnot. Well, here goes nothing. As I understand, you've kept your wife on life support. Hmm. It sounds like you haven't been able to let her go. Actually, I did it for her. I want to give her every chance to live again. Even if I'm not here. Huh, that's awesome. Hey, who knows, maybe they kept her alive this long. Nah, not really, probably not, but... Yeah, home sweet home. But people, lifeless planet. Thank you all very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I highly recommend you go ahead and buy this game and play through it yourself. There's been a whole bunch of other stuff that I didn't even cover in this. All the, all the extra features and findable things and backstory. And uh, it's uh, really my favorite indie game so far. Thanks again for watching, and have a good one.